I have a background in interior design and I was working in commercial interiors and continually I had clients that had a problem with noise. I decided that I really needed to create something that looked really good but also solved that problem with sound. So it became evident to me that it would be a really good idea to suspend the solution. And because it's suspended, the sound waves bounce around a room and then they are absorbed by the material that these lights are made of. It's a bit of a triple threat. So it has a light source, it absorbs sound and it creates a great design punch in a space. Inspirations for my design come from all over the place and then I set about sketching and then taking that both to the manufacturer. My design journey for commercialisation started with an accelerator program I did. During that time we heard from an IP lawyer and I always knew that I needed to register the designs but I did not know anything about how to go about that. It was really fortunate that that sort of happened right at that time because I was actually about to launch the product on a website and I recognised at that point that I needed to register the designs prior to actually showing it. So I chose to work with an IP lawyer to register the designs and to go through the trademarking process purely because I have no experience in this category at all myself. Probably for my next designs, I will attempt to do that myself, but because I'm a little bit more educated in, in the process now. Our lights are made in Australia and they're made from responsible materials. They're custom made, so we don't have a warehouse full of stock, they're made to order. So much happens behind the scenes and to get a product to market is so expensive. For then it to be copied for a much cheaper price, say offshore, number one dilutes the value of your product in the marketplace. It also leaves you with nothing to sell at the end. I think it's really important that our laws protect designers who are creative enough to innovate.